All right, first things first. Hope you all had a wonderful holiday on Christmas. It's actually Christmas right now at the uh, filming of this video. Uh, today we're going to slam out some back and still on the critical mass program. So what we're doing today is last week was rack deads, uh, T-bar rolls, things of that nature. So today we're going to be going with some Penley rows and uh, other movements that trying to get some progress on. Uh, gonna hit up some crock rows. Uh, a lot of you power lifters are familiar with that exercise, trying to get stronger on that, build the upper lats, and then we're gonna throw in some odds and ends as I deem fit. Uh, or maybe not, you never know. So don't have a whole lot of time. Uh, I started a new job so I don't have vacation time where I could just take off so I'm at work tomorrow I'm at work Friday and I do train those two days so with that being said just really gonna push the envelope really try to make some gains today and hopefully I'll be able to talk you through some exercises and get some suggestions uh, <clears throat> seeing as I don't celebrate the holiday uh, anymore just trying to get through. It's my first time not really celebrating or observing Christmas, so uh, kind of hard for me mentally, but overall, it was a good day. Sat at home, just really watched a lot of Marvel movies with my family and chilled out. So, but this is a late one. We're gonna get it in and we're gonna work really, really hard. So let's go. All right, starting out the workout with some chins to get the back warmed up, get it activated. Um, these were just paltry sets. Not very good at this exercise anymore, but I got more reps than I did last week. So that's a win. Um, really what I'm trying to do is really just trying to make sure that I'm getting stronger overall on a lot of these exercises. So when I'm doing that, I'm just concentrating on squeezing the back, making sure that the contraction is good making sure it's there first off and then just rolling with it so just really trying to get stronger over reps as time progresses next thing up is the penley row so this is basically a dead stop barbell row guys nothing too fancy or complicated here it's a great upper back builder as you can see where my elbows are going i'm trying to keep my elbows out and pull to my lower sternum couple of warm-up sets and then we get right into the main set of 225 and then a back off set of 185 a couple of coaching points uh, in my opinion and I'll probably I'll definitely be disagreed with your upper body needs to be as perpendicular to the floor as possible this is not an exercise you should probably use a ton of weight on it's a very strict movement if done properly if you're just trying to hoist up weight and not really keep your body perpendicular then you're just better off doing a normal barbell row see how is see how my body is not really coming up that much is guys is doing it way worse than me but they're pulling it they're pulling like 400 something odd pounds which is which is a great thing to do and it's impressive but if you're trying to keep all the pressure on your upper back then in my opinion I mean even if you are brutally strong like 405 should just be enough at that point it just becomes a bent over row you may as well just put it in a rack and unrack it so guys keep your body perpendicular to the floor and row up to your sternum uh, upper ab area okay next exercise stiff arm pull downs really not going to go into this too much really uh, because you guys have seen this exercise time and time again in any routine that I do really you're just really I'm just having my lats in a very uh, mechanical mechanical disadvantage in the position that I'm in so one thing that I think uh, Matt Jansen does is that he puts toes he puts plates under his heels that elevates his heels and you get a stronger contraction so uh, shout out to Matt Jansen for that. If you guys try it out, let him know and let me know and see how you like it. Next up, shrugs. Nothing impressive here. Just a couple of sets of 15. Trap training, very important. 
Why? Because it gives the overall sense that sense or look rather of power. Um, a lot of people like big traps. They find big traps impressive on a on a rather big physique. Uh, I'm I'm not too ingrained with trap training, but need to start doing a little bit more consistently and making sure that I'm just getting a good contraction on all exercises. I'm doing the hammer strength variation here. And like I said, just three sets of 15. If you're doing them with dumbbells, <coughs> if you're doing them with dumbbells, excuse me, uh, just make sure you're getting a full contraction and not going super heavy. Um, I remember seeing guys doing photo shoots with 160, 200 pound dumbbells. And I'm like, God, that's great for a photo, but holy shit, it's not doing anything for them muscle-wise. So keep the weight weight range moderate, the reps moderate, and just uh, flourish from there, in my opinion. Okay, croc rows. Um, these are a fantastic upper back builder if you need to put mass on up there. If you're a power lifter, they're a great movement, great uh, back builder for helping your bench, helping to lock out on your deadlift, things of that nature. Not gonna bore you with the warm-up sets or anything like that, we're just gonna go straight into the work sets. And really all croc rows are, are just high rep one-arm rows. So we're gonna crank it. Last time I did these, I got 134, 15. So we're gonna shoot up to 135 and see what I can get there. We're just gonna do one working set and then we're gonna call it good on that movement. say that shit was fun closing it out with a couple of sets of close grip pull downs this first set was about 190 in retrospect probably a little bit too heavy but also at the same time just want to see if I can do it after all of that back work I did earlier um, and my upper back is just a just a important body part I'm really trying to improve so as you can see, I'm not pulling really down below to my sternum or anything like that. Just to the chin area, um, maybe a little bit lower, but nothing crazy. So, guys, this is a really good back routine for you to try. Try it out. I encourage it. If you do, let me know. Leave it in the comments. Again, I'm following the Critical Mass program by Justin Harris, which I will link to in the video. Um, but, guys, this is a great program so far. Really loving it. You're really loving the strength game. So until next time, happy holidays uh, and get your New Year's in. Okay, uh, back in a nutshell, PR on Pinley Rose, got a PR on Croc Rose, and the rest was really just assistance work. I guess you can view it that way. Um, no biceps today. I'm gonna do a total arm workout on Friday. Hopefully be able to bring you guys that as well. So some things to keep in mind when you're training back, uh, especially when you're using a movement such as a uh, Pinley row. So with the Pinley row, you definitely wanna keep your body perpendicular to the floor as much as possible. That's the strength of the movement. Um, it's a strict upper back movement. Um, if you put too much momentum, into it you'll start shifting things around to different uh, muscle groups different supporting muscle groups as well with croc rows i mean for me that is what it is um, you, you feel it in the upper back but sometimes you feel it shifting around uh, so the best thing to do is try to keep the mind muscle connection strong um, and just try to make sure you keep all that pressure on your back. So if you're going to construct something with a Pinley row or with a croc row, I know I'm doing both in the same workout, but honestly, I would pick one or the other as kind of like my main balls out go-to movement. 
Um, I'm following the program mostly as is, cutting some things out or adding something in, but mostly, I'd say about 95%, I'm following the program as is. Um, but like I said, if I had to do penly rows and one arm rows, I'd probably make the one arm, the croc rows at a lower intensity than the penly rows. Um, so that's just my recommendation if you're gonna do something like that. Pick one or the other, don't do both. Um, as far as your assistance work goes, I kind of call that a free for all. Uh, do things that you're kind of weak at. Take a look at the whole of your back and pick movements that will improve your back as a whole so that's all i got um late one i gotta be at work in the morning uh, i'm not lucky to have a whole lot of vacation time but that's all right we'll, we'll get it done so push tomorrow then arms and then train legs on sunday so fun times all right we'll see you later guys you take care and uh y'all have some good holiday fun with your family eat plenty of food uh, if you got pumpkin pie, uh, throw that shit in the trash and get you some sweet potato pie. All right, later.